Art Prize draws thousands of people to Grand Rapids each year. So what does an artist do with five grand, 400,000 people, and an entire bridge? Going to find out, the artist will get to renovate the Gillette Pedestrian Bridge in Grand Rapids. Art Prize is partnering with the Walker Art Center and mnartist.org to help fund this ambitious project. Now, last year, the Gillette Bridge renovation sparked some controversy. Minneapolis committee chose an untitled project involving a broken down early 90s Chevy Suburban covered with stairs. Problem was, the artwork blocked both passages over the Grand River. This year's winner is a Calvin College grad. Bjorn Sparman was selected from five finalists on Friday. Now here to talk about this announcement and what it means for Art Prize is Todd Herring. He is the marketing director of mm -hmm. Art Prize. Thank you for joining us this yeah. early Sunday morning. No problem. Let's so, do it. So talk with us a little bit. What exactly does this mean? I, I feel like a lot of people don't even necessarily know that there is this competition in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Just, just <clears throat> explain it for us. Yeah, so last year, uh, the, it didn't quite block the whole bridge, but um, you know, the Gillette Bridge is an iconic location at Art Prize. And so we wanted to, <clears throat> sorry, offer that location up to an artist that would be coming with an ambitious plan uh, outside of the Grand Rapids region. Uh, so Delta Airlines, OST, the Walker Art Center all said, here's uh, the opportunity to do this project out there. Um, and we do a pitch night. So artists bring their proposals. We have. Uh, People who are in the Walker Art Center community or community uh, judge the proposals and then select one. And the winner this year uh, is putting in a faux border crossing uh, right there on the Gillette Bridge to um, bring up ideas and, and concerns around how uh, borders work and uh, the idea of intentional separation and uh, exclusion. Hmm. Interesting. So uh, explain to us a little bit more because this person from is a Calvin College grad, but is this a Minnesota-based competition with the with the finalists? Is, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, Bjorn is uh, a Minnesota artist now, even though he, he did graduate from Calvin. Um, and the artists, uh, or, or sorry, the judges, none of them had a Calvin College tie, so it didn't play into their decision. Even though uh, being a Calvin grad myself, I'm excited that it is a Calvin grad who won this grant. So. Um, yeah, we're excited that uh, that he could uh, make it to the bridge and um, is going to be doing a really interesting project this fall. So what more can you tell us? We, we see that there's a picture up right now. You're entering Western Grand Rapids. This is obviously something that, you know, has really been an issue talking about immigration reform and things like that. Art Prize known not necessarily for even being an art competition, but for being a conversation. Is, is that a big reason why this piece was chosen? Well, artwork starts that conversation. So even this one, there's no um, you know, intentional agenda around it. Um, the, a border crossing is being put in a place where a border crossing is not expected. Uh, and so the hope is that it will bring these questions. People who are uh, for border patrol, people who are against border patrol, people who want to, uh, you know, become active in those conversations, you know, regionally and nationally, um, maybe this will encourage them to do it. Um, even people who are uh, completely unaware of the conversation um, might be, you know, caused to uh, come into it because of this artwork. Um, it, it's always inter interesting when you see an actual intervention uh, in the urban landscape that is unexpected for people who are f so familiar with it. Uh, and that's what this work will do, and it'll be interesting to see how it uh, impacts the Airprise audience. At what do you? What are your feelings about it? How do you think people will react to it? Uh, I think people will be a little bit alarmed to see uh, something that I think they'll find it funny at first, uh, and I hope that they'll be, uh, you know, cause it, they'll, they'll be a bit concerned. They won't know if it's real or if it's an art project. Um, and I think when they when they encounter it, it there will be a, a meaningful reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And moving away from this, um, j just for a minute, another issue we've been keeping our eye on, the Airbnb controversy. What mm -hmm. effect will this have on artists in Art Prize? Well, Bjorn is a good example of somebody who's coming from out of town to Grand Rapids. Um, even though he has won a $5,000 grant, uh, the estimated cost for installing a large project on the Gillette Bridge um, cover almost all of that money. So he's going to be coming, he's going to be staying here. Um, he's not going to be staying just for one night, he's going to be staying for a longer period of time. And so you imagine, uh, you know, 30% of the artists at Art Prize come from outside of Grand Rapids. Uh, and they have, uh, they have the option and, and desire to stay for ideally the whole event, at the very least several days when they're installing, several days when they're, they're pulling out. Um, 
And so the, something like Airbnb is an incredible opportunity for them to save costs, um, to stay for a longer period of time. And so we hope that uh, you know, businesses like that are going to be able to flourish here in Grand Rapids uh, to help the, um, the local economy when it comes to uh, the people that want to come and stay in Grand Rapids for longer than one or two nights. Great. Something we'll definitely keep our eye on. Thank yep. you so much for joining us here this morning, Todd. Thank you, Danny.